Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This time I am cleaning the bathroom of an old man who we will call Peter. Peter lost his wife in the early 2000s and after that he was left alone in his house. Peter couldn't find the motivation to clean anything because he was so sad that his wife had died. Luckily Peter had a daughter-in-law who wanted to help him by keeping up his household and cleaning for him. But about 10 years after that, his daughter-in-law got diagnosed with rheumatism and she wasn't able to help him anymore. Peter's children hoped that Peter had found the motivation to clean his house again. But Peter didn't care. When I come into contact with someone who wants my help, I always ask to send photos on beforehand. Just because I like to make a cleaning plan before I actually start cleaning. When Peter's daughter-in-law sent me pictures of this toilet, I knew immediately that I had to deal with different layers of dirt. The first layer is often an organic layer. And so I used oven cleaner to spray that in and let that sit for about 50 minutes. After that, I took away everything that was on the floor. And look at this beautiful toilet brush holder. Isn't it the most beautiful you've ever seen? I also removed the shower curtain and said to the family to wash it on 90 degrees. Since these tiles weren't cleaned in about 10 years at least, I wanted to do two scrubbings of these tiles with anti-lime scale products. So you see me putting up the first layer right here and then I let that sit for about five minutes. Then I rinsed it and I repeated that. I think one of the most satisfying things to see is mold being removed by an anti-mold product. You can hear the foam do its work and while you're waiting the mold disappears. It's amazing.
To fight that lime scale in the bathtub, I started with my scrub mummy, um, but unfortunately this wasn't tough enough. The stupid stubborn lime scale didn't get, got, didn't get off, and so I had to use a scour daddy to try to scrub all the layers of lime scale away. The outside of the bathtub was made of hard plastic and I used some all-purpose cleaner to wipe off the dust and dirt that was on that hard plastic.
This is the fourth round of scrubbing the toilet bowl and yes, my arms got really, really sore at this point. This was a little trash container that was full of dust and dirt and I thought it was satisfying to see uh, how much I could wipe off um, just in one wipe. Well, it was quite easy and um, I cleaned it with dish soap.
This is something that I have never seen before. This was meant as a washing station and not only the counter but also the cabinets were uh, really special because they look like cabinets but they're actually boxes. Uh, you can see me pulling one out here and every box has, it, uh, has its own um, type of wash. So uh, one box was for 60 degrees wash and one box was for 90 degrees wash. wash and so on. I thought this was very creative. This is the fifth round of scrubbing the toilet bowl and as you can see I couldn't get rid of all the lime scale. So for all you perfectionists out there, I'm really sorry. Um, I cleaned for about three and a half hours and then my time was up. So this is the result and it's a lot lot better but not perfect.
For the last part, I scrubbed the floor and I wiped the floor. Um, there was a lot of dust, which is common because washing machines produce a lot of dust. It's almost the end of this same day edit video. I want to thank you for watching and you will see the before and after again of this bathroom. Um, and I hope of course that you would subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me and I hope to see you next time. Bye.